So good morning everybody, we are now got to uh, Monday morning. Um, Sarah and I are going to be going out for a walk shortly and we'll, we'll make sure that we take you with us. Um, Sarah makes me do all the blue jobs as we call them. Um, so um, this morning I've started off with emptying the, the grey waste tank and uh, filling up with some fresh water. So Sarah and I are a little bit lazy, we don't like to move the van once it's parked up if we can help it. So instead of uh, taking it over to the motorhome service point, I've got a jerry can for fresh water and a jerry can for the waste water. So uh, I've done the waste water, but I'm going to top it with fresh water. And rather than trying to pour it through the, uh, the hole in the side of the van, which takes a long time, I bring the fresh water straight into the van and pour it directly into the tank. We're quite lucky because the tank's easily accessible. But it can get a bit messy. He does normally miss it. Okay, so to fill the tank up from empty, I need about four of these. So I'm going to go and grab another one, and I think another one and a half of these, and I'll be done. So uh, here we go, we'll be topped up with fresh water. What he hasn't told you is look at the mess that he makes that I then have to tidy up, which is a pink job. I get to do the toilet next, so I'll swap. Yeah, so I do um, all of the pink jobs in the van. So at the moment, the van is absolutely trashed. So I will um, clean it, clean all the bathrooms, um, pack a lunch, make breakfast. Um, and then we are going on um, a six mile hike up to the top of a mountain. I think we're reaching, what is it, 840? 850 metres. 850 metres today. Um, so we're going to take all our winter weather gear in case it turns nasty at the top of the mountain. But yes, I now get to tidy up after Lee, which if anyone knows Lee, he's quite a messy person. So this is the bathroom. So I've just refreshed the bathroom. So that looks much better than it did. Um, I had tidied this area. And as you can see, Lee invaded. Not a bad way, is it, to start off our walk? What are you thinking so far? Yes, yeah, nice, isn't it? It's beautiful. But it's flat at the moment, so we'll see what it's like when we start going up. So we're thinking, I'm not sure if you can see on the camera, we're thinking that's the path up to the top of the mountain. This is what we've walked around. I think we've done about three miles so far. It's about two and a half miles. Two and a half. Yeah, it's about three and a half miles left to go. And just that small obstacle getting over that small little mountain in the way. You look thrilled about going up. I'm not a big fan of climbing up mountains. Yeah. So we've just turned off. We're not actually sure if this is the right mountain. Uh, because there's no sign. Sorry, it's so windy. Not sure if you can hear. Um, but that's Glenshee over there in the background. And we think that's where we're going. So if you can hear us breathing heavily, that's because it's a steep climb. We're uh, currently up at about 460 meters. So we've got about 400 to go. So it's um, very steep going, um, but a nice day to do it. But, uh, worth mentioning as well I've got man flu so I'm like a hero and that's what we've walked up but look at that scenery just missing our pups they would love it wouldn't they they would
So our path has now turned into complete snow, uh, but it's really hard snow, isn't it? It's really icy. Yeah, I'd say it's a good few days old, a couple of weeks old. So it's frozen solid. Catch my breath. <laughs> you got man flu? Man flu, see? Hero. Couldn't the Guinness World Records. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm going to ask all my male friends out there to put a like and a comment down below if you think I'm a legend for getting up this mountain with serious man flu, please. I think we are nearly at the top. We think. Whew. We think we're trying to get there. Lee and I were just saying we don't think we've ever seen anything quite so beautiful. I just hope it's coming out on camera. So we've made it to the top. I think this is uh, the peak of Marone or something. Marone? Probably pronouncing that wrong. Um, as you can see the view behind us is absolutely stunning. Um, but we'll turn the camera around in a minute and see what you've got the other side. But it's uh, beautiful up here. So we've just started our descent down the mountain. Lee has decided he's going to practice his skiing. <laughs> what, what, what was that like? Olympic gold, that was. How's your man flu? God, so blocked up. <laughs> Get up this man. So we haven't recorded much of coming off the mountain because it's been so bloody steep. Um, we're about three quarters of the way down now um, and we've been following, well, I don't know if it's a stream, whether the path's just flooded um, and through uh, snow and ice. Um, but we're uh, nearly at the bottom now, but if you look behind, you can just about see how steep it is. Um, and this is just the, the last little bit. You can't see everything that we've been down before it, but uh, nearly there now, coffee's cooling. So yeah, that currently is ice. It's been like that most of the way. And I don't think you're going to see because of the sun. But there's not, kind of no path that gets you down to the bottom this side. So um, it's a bit random, isn't it, this side? Yeah. So Sarah and I are back off the mountain and we are almost back in the village, almost back to the caravan site. Um, got about another mile or so to walk, but it's all flat now um, along the river. Um, it's been a good walk, it was a hard walk. Um, going up was steep but uh, coming down was even steeper so Sarah's knees are uh, throbbing um, I had one little slip which uh, it was hysterical I really yeah but then I had a really good slip yeah but well, you disappeared in the mountain I just <laughs> slipped over a little bit but I had a little temper tantrum <laughs> at that point um, might have to speak to Aberdeenshire County Council we um, followed the path explicitly all the way around it said it was six miles and currently my Strava is on eight and a bit so I'm not sure what's what's wrong with that um, but yeah, we're just going to cross over the river. Lovely day. I think we've got today with sunshine. I think a bit of sunshine tomorrow, and then I think the weather turns a little bit. But um, yeah, Cairngorms is not disappointing so far. Thanks for watching, everyone. We hope you enjoyed that video. Next time on motorhoming in the slow lane, things start to get really serious.
We take a brilliant drive around the Cairngorms through Balmoral and over some serious gradients through some ski resorts and really start to put Sophia through her paces. When we arrive in Avermore, we set her up for our next adventure, skiing in the Cairngorm Ski Resort. We get the skis on board and all our other ski equipment, but do things really go to plan? If you like the video, please give us a big thumbs up. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you on our next adventure.